What is going on guys? Welcome back to yet another brand new Major Ben video here on the channel. I do hope you guys are having a fantastic day as always. Today we're going to be talking about the Sony PlayStation price increase that's happening in multiple markets across the planet. Um, and there is actually yeah, a genuine increase coming to these consoles. So if you haven't got one and you can find one in the stock, buy it now while it's still cheaper because they're about to go up in price. But before we get into that, please do consider leaving a like on this video if you enjoy it and subscribe into the channel if you really like it and uh leave a comment as well let me know what you think of the videos and uh yeah it's just awesome to interact with you guys down in the comment section so there is a price increase as i've just said the global economic environment is a challenge that many of you around the world are no doubt experiencing as well we're seeing high global inflation rates as well as adverse currency trends impacting consumers and creating pressure on many industries based on these challenging economic conditions sie Sony Interactive Entertainment has made the difficult decision to increase the recommended retail price RPM of PlayStation 5 in select markets across Europe, Middle East and Africa, Asia Pacific, Latin America, as well as calendar. Uh, Canada. Sorry, there will be no price increase in the United States. So this is the price increase, excuse me, I'll just have my voice. This is the price increase as follows. So Europe, uh, the PS5 with Ultra Blu-ray disc drive will be 549 euros and PS5 Digital Edition is 449 in the UK, which is the one I know the best. The original uh, with the disc drive was 450, now it's 479 and the without the disc drive was 350 and it's now 389. So that's a 30 pound increase here in the UK. Um, in Japan, it's gone up to 60,478 yen for the oh, one with disc drive and 49,478 yen for the digital China is 4,299 one and it's uh, 3,499 one for the uh, digital edition 799 Australian dollars and uh, 649 Australian dollars Mexico 14,999 dollars to 12,499 dollars and 649 dollars Canadian um, and 519 Canadian dollars uh, for the digital edition. So that is the price increases that are coming. Um, it's interesting, very interesting to see. So uh, yeah, I kind of guess this would happen. Um, we know that Sony's console probably costs more to manufacture than Microsoft's. Uh, you got to remember Microsoft's, although is a more powerful system in general, um, the uh, the actual way the system is built is not cheaper with the Xbox, but it's a very basic black box compared to the PS5 that has a lot of different edges. If you look at the PS5 controller, for example, you can actually with a mic with like a something that you can you know get really close into it. I was going to say a microscope, but you don't need that. Maybe a magnifying glass or something. You can see that there's a load of X's, uh, squares, and triangles um, and circles etched into the PlayStation 5 controller. You can tell a ton of work has been put into the uh, PlayStation 5 system. Not that in the end of the day, the, the Xbox console is by no means cheap. It's a fantastic system. I absolutely love it myself, but I'm just saying, I believe the PlayStation 5 costs more to manufacture. With that SSD, it is a very expensive SSD. Um, and yeah, there's been a ton of money put into that. So it's very interesting though. So there is a no rise in the US, which I find strange, but I guess uh, that's just how it is. And considering things, um, you know, in the UK are extremely bad right now, this price increase is not going to bode too well. There's a couple of people at my work, for example, that are like, well, hang on a minute. You know, I was I was looking to get one and now I really need to look to get one because obviously you're going to be paying more for a console that released two years ago now. It's really strange. But um, yeah, you know, I, I think it's best that everyone goes out and tries to get one before this price increase. It is going to start rolling out very shortly. So if you can get them, uh, go and get them. It's just the best thing to do. I'm glad I've got mine at launch. Um, I kind of always knew this would be something that was happened. The, the market is... Uh, bad right now everything well not the market but the actual um you know the industries the, the with all this covid stuff it's caused a massive problem um for everybody so that's the reason for this 30 uh, pound increase but at the same time we've got to look at why is nintendo switch not going up why is the xbox series x not going up uh yeah why is that 
It, there's, there's nothing, we've heard nothing from Microsoft and we've heard nothing from Sony about a price increase from their ends. What's going on? Like, like how come we're not getting that? So it'd be interesting to see in the coming weeks, do we get an increase on those systems or is this it now? Is the Xbox going to stay where it is and the PlayStation is going to be the one that's actually more expensive? Because currently, to some people now, they may look at both these new consoles and be like, well, okay, the Xbox is cheaper now than the PS5. The Xbox is 350, uh, sorry, 450, and the PlayStation 5 is now um what is it 479 in the UK. So there is a there is a small price increase for PlayStation and not Xbox. Is this going to sort of sway some people's decision alongside the oh Call of Duty is going to be on the Xbox Game Pass every year. That's going to save me even more money than buying a whole game every single um or a few games every single year, just get Game Pass. I can play Call of Duty. It's going to be there, you know, for my monthly subscription. The console's now cheaper on top of that. It's, uh, yeah, it's kind of looking really promising for Xbox and Microsoft right now, unless they do go ahead and do an increase as well, which would be interesting to see. But that's pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to talk about that. Um, I do want to quickly touch. We do have the new PlayStation 5 uh, Edge control, I believe it's called, um, which is... Uh, essentially a pro controller uh, but it looks really nice I don't I, I never like the um, the way they do these videos it kind of annoys me because they're always like zoomed in on the controller it's like you can't really see just give me a video where I can like see someone using it showing off the buttons and stuff but it looks very interesting for sure you've got a lot of customization with this thing um, personally I still think you'd be better off going with like a scuff if you want to play uh, like call, you know call of duty to a very high level because in the end of the day the scuff like fps controller for example that has like trigger stops and stuff like that um and i don't believe the uh this controller has it maybe it does i know it's got interchangeable back buttons and everything um but it'll be really really cool obviously the scuff fps is very designed for extremely fast reactions there's no rumble in it they take out all the like trigger things that the playstation 5 controller has um and yeah it's just uh oh sorry i think it does have a uh, reduced travel distance for the triggers um but probably not i wouldn't say on the same level as it is on the scuff fps like it is basically no movement it's like clicking a mouse basically with the triggers i have one personally i might do a video on that in the future actually it's a good point but um yeah that's pretty much it for this video thank you so much for watching i hope you guys have a great rest of your day uh leave a like subscribe if you're enjoying these this content and i'll see you in future videos bye bye for now